How does honey come? To get honey, there is bees that you need to deal with. You cannot have a testimony without being tested. When you see that things are now tight in your life, they are now very hard, things are now dark, you must know dawn is now about to come. Hardships are part of Christianity. You cannot escape that road. If you want to reach a level where you lack nothing in your life, you must be willing to go through testing of your faith. Christianity is a spiritual warfare and it takes people with endurance. It takes people with the spiritual stamina. Temptations, they come from the devil and they are there to make you to sin. But testing comes from God. It is there to make you to have patience. It is there to make you to have endurance. Because without endurance, you can never enter the kingdom of God. Where is your head positioned head it talks of authority many people they want to put their authority on soft things but i want you to know if you want revelation you must know where to put your head you put it on the rock honey comes out of the rock can we celebrate the name of jesus Hallelujah. I want you to greet seven people and welcome them into the house of God. Say welcome into the wonderful house of the Lord today. Hallelujah. Just welcome them. Welcome them. Welcome somebody. Welcome somebody. We may welcome somebody. Welcome somebody. We may take our seats in the presence of the Lord. Today, I want to teach you. I want us to read Psalms 81, verse 16. Psalms 81, verse 16. What does it say? Psalms 81, Verse 16, we want to read Psalms 81, verse 16. The Bible says, He would have fed them also with the finest of wheat and with the honey from the rock, I would have satisfied you. May the Lord my God bless the reading of his word today. I love the vision which says, with honey from the rock, I will satisfy you. With honey from the rock, I will satisfy you. So I want to teach you a revelation, a word that God gave me. Can you write the today's title? Can you write honey comes from the rock? Honey comes from the rock. Honey comes from the rock. Can you shake someone next to you? Say, honey comes from the rock. Say, honey comes from the rock. Lift your hand again. Say, honey comes from the rock. All right. We are seeing in this portion David wrote this scripture when he was running away from his son Absalom. And there were two people that were looking for him. There was Absalom looking for him, wanting to kill him. Also Saul wanted to kill David and David ran away and went into the cave called the cave of Adullam and in the cave of Adullam that's where we see David being surrounded by people who were struggling in deaths and some who had some 
certain problems in their lives. In 1 Samuel 22, can we go there? People who had stress, who had emotional problems, we are seeing them coming in that rock, in that cave, and they are hiding with David. Now, hear me very well. This is a man running away and he's staying in a cave. He was in a palace. He's staying in a cave. And we are seeing people with emotional problems. People with deaths are following him. And they start to stay with him in that cave. Leaving their palatial houses. So it tells me that there is a time even when you move even the church. And you put it in a plastic when there is a certain life that you are now oozing from your body, from your spiritual realm, from, from your belly, people can still follow you anywhere. They can go with you. Even that's why they used to follow Jesus, even in the bush. Why? Because Jesus was a honey. He was a honey. He was sweet. Wherever you would meet him, you would see honey. When you would see Jesus, you would meet honey. Because honey brings healing to people's bodies. Honey brings miracles. In the spirit, honey, it talks of anything that is sweet in the spirit. Breakthroughs, we are talking of testimonies. We are, we are talking of uh, prosperity. Anything that every human being desires is represented by honey. Uh, and everyone would want people to follow them. Let me just read from verse 1. It says, this chapter 1st, Samuel 22, verse 1. David therefore departed from there, escaped to the cave of Adullam. So when his brothers and all his father's house held it, they went down there to him. They left the palace and followed this man in a cave, in a rock that was in the bush. Verse 2. And everyone who was in distress, who was stressed, everyone who was in debt, and everyone who was discounted, gathered to him. So he became captain over them. And there were about 400 men with him. David started a church with 400 people in a cave. Not in a nice building, there was no chair, there was no projector, there was no nice pulpit. Why were they following David into the cave and deciding to leave their houses where they had nice beds and they were following this man? I think any young pastor, any person would want such a life that even when I'm staying in the bush, 400 people, 400, it's not a joke for them to follow you into a cave, into the bush. Why did they follow David? Because David was now honey. Honey is found in the bush. But you see a man can leave his house and follow honey. To go and get honey in the bush. But how does honey come? Tell the person next you say honey comes from the rock. All right. When you look at this when we look, let's write the characteristic of a rock. Rock is one of the hardest things. Hardest matter or material. Honey, on this other side, it's one of the most sweetest things on earth. So we are, even diamond is part of rocks, and they say it's one of the hardest Hardest rock on earth. You need a diamond to cut a diamond. You cannot cut a diamond with any metal on earth because it's the high, hardest rock. So we are seeing a rock and we are seeing honey. And many Christians, they want honey, they want the sweetest things, but they don't know that honey comes out of the rock. We are saying the, sweet, more, the sweetest things in life that we have today or that you would want to get today, they come from the most hardest. So the hardest things 
they produce the most sweetest things. And this is what David is writing and saying that honey, I, and it's God writing through David prophetically that I would have satisfied you with honey from the rock. In that rock, they discovered honey. And they started eating honey. So God was saying the church today is looking for honey. But they don't know how honey comes. Do you know when I used to read the Bible, I used to hear God saying to his children that I am going to give you milk and honey. I'm taking you to a land of milk and honey. And what came into my mind when I was a new convert, it's what is in the mind of many Christians. What I used to think was that there is a long stream in Canaan. There was a long stream on the left with milk. And on the right, there was a very big river with honey. And so going to Canaan, you were supposed to go with the two, uh, with, with, with the two uh, Yuko straws. One on your left and another straw on your right. And you were just supposed to look for a chair and you sit and you dip one straw into milk. And you dip one straw into honey. And you just go... <laughs> And you drink milk. When you are tired, you just go and you drink honey. And you are satisfied. And you go and you play. You come again to your straws. But I was shocked that they had to get a revelation. That to get honey, there is bees that you need to deal with. <laughs> to get milk, there is a cow that you have to deal with. Is ask those who grew up in the rural areas that it's not easy to get milk. To milk a cow, it can kick you. It can be very angry. It takes skill for you to milk a cow. It's only now where milk is now being received with machines which they connect to, the, to, the, uh, to that cow and then they milk it with the machines. But those who do it manually... In the rural area or in the farms there, they will tell you, you have to be very careful. Milk does not just come. Milk is good, but milk does not just come. It comes with a prize. Honey comes with a prize. I remember even to get honey, we were supposed to bend tires. And they would wear things on their faces. My brothers and go with us in the bush. And sometimes they would come and bees would have beaten them. Honey is very sweet, but it's also dangerous to get it. Do you know that bees can bite you and you can die? It's not easy to see that honey which you are seeing in those shops. There are methods that you have to apply to deal with honey. Now I want you to tell the person next to you, tell them that it's not easy to get a testimony. <laughs> 